I grew up on Long Island, New York. Always had a love of the outdoors, a love for camping, hiking, hunting when we were young. From that day forward, I always had an affinity and gravitated towards being outside. I started fly fishing in high school. Everything else goes out of my head. You're just concentrating on, you know, on the task before you. You're just sitting out there by yourself, listening to the sounds, communing with nature, and it's a complete stress reliever. For every waking moment that I'm not in the office or in the field, I am on that river. I think photography is not what I did, it was who I was, you know, and it all came from inside. I started to make the transition over to uh, teaching. I really liked the teaching aspect and said, hey, you know, this can be uh, a fairly decent livelihood as well. And my friend said the same thing to me. Are you crazy? You know, you're going to quit the commercial career. And you're going to quit all these other things and go, uh, you know, try and do wildlife photography. Then I have a, a darker background here, including the trees. I'm just like, oh. So you have a live histogram, you have live white balance. It all came together, I guess, at the right time. People ask me that all the time. You know, do you stress over what you do? And absolutely. You know, if I didn't, I wouldn't believe I care about it. You know, you're promising people, hey, you know, we're going to Bella Coola to see grizzly bears. If that doesn't come about, then I'm in a bad spot. But they also are savvy enough to understand that it is wildlife, you know, and that we're not in control of it. You're only as good as the people around you. And it's like one big happy family. I'm fortunate, I mean, I met so many nice people on these things. It is the hardest thing I've ever done. You know, between the hours in the field and the hours in the office, it's a lot. It amazes me, you know, what I've done throughout my career and the point that I, I am now. If I was to stop, you know, look at my life and say, hey, these are the things you've done, these are the places you've been, I'm living a dream. It's seriously a dream. I mean, I, I can't believe it. If there was no money involved, I would probably do the same thing. My name is Charles Glatzer, and I am an F-Stop Pro Photographer.